Pistons have lost three games in a row coming in. Charlotte Hornets lost four in a row. Somebody's streak had to end on Friday in Charlotte. As we make our way to the second half, Pistons leading Andre Drummond off the feed from Blake Griffin. And then Griffin, second game of the season, played 30 minutes in this one, 19 points and six assists. Hornets respond, though, down by one early in the fourth. Malik Monk going coast to coast. And then Devontae Graham, who had a double-double in this one with 18 points and 10 assists, gets the driving lay-in. The Hornets up by six with just under three to go. Langston Galloway was huge off the bench for Detroit. There he has a three. And then where there's a will, there's a Galloway. Seven of 11 from beyond the arc. Langston Galloway went off for 32. That gave Detroit a three-point advantage. Same score, 106-103. 30 seconds left. Marvin Williams with the three ball to tie it at 106. Seven seconds to go. Derrick Rose on the drive. Ends up turning it over with one second left on the clock. Point four there. They go back and look at it. Make it a full second. And the Hornets get to inbound. And they give it to the former Kentucky Wildcat Malik Monk at the buzzer. And Charlotte emphatically ends the four-game losing skit, and Blake Griffin can only look on as Monk and the Hornets celebrate. Clearly got it off in time, and the stroke is pure. Malik Monk, take another angle of this one. It never gets old. Game-winning, buzzer-beating shots in the NBA. In Orlando to take on Aaron Gordon and the Magic, who are 4-3 and three at home this year. 0-4 oh, on the road, however. But for the Spurs, DeMar DeRozan, rumors floating out there maybe that Orlando is interested in trading for DeMar DeRozan. He's showing them what he can do for sure. A couple of buckets early on to propel San Antonio to a lead. Good ball movement for Orlando. Evan Fournier makes the shot. Popovich up by 13. Still upset, however. DeRozan had 15 in the first half. The lead was 10 At intermission for the Spurs, 56-46. But the Magic coming back. Markel Fultz finishing with the left. Then in transition, Evan Fournier knocks down a three. And Terrence Ross for three. He had 20 points in the ballgame. And Orlando takes a one-point advantage. In the fourth, more from Fournier. 104-99, Orlando with just over two to play. To Rosen, going to work in the post. And he finishes for two of his 21, tying in at 104. Fournier on the other end gets some revenge, a three ball. He had 26. Orlando leads 107-104. 16 seconds left off the inbound. Aaron Gordon fouled by DeRozan. And they end up assessing a flagrant foul. Went up a little high. The fall was a little nasty. DeRozan pleading his case. But Gordon would make both free throws for the flagrant, and then the Spurs would have to foul again, and then by that point, Orlando was able to seal it. 111-109, the Spurs taking a four-game winning streak into Houston as they took on James Harden and the Houston Rockets. Clint Capella in street clothes there, out with a concussion. No Eric Gordon, no Daniel House for the Rockets, but they still do have Mr. Harden, who came out on fire, knocking down a couple of step-back threes. And how about one more for good measure after a little razzle-dazzle dribbling. Harden had 20 in the first half. Houston led 54-49 at halftime. Pacers, though, weathering the Harden storm. Demonis Sabonis, 18 points, 13 rebounds. Gets the hook shot there. TJ McConnell to TJ Leaf. That's TJ to TJ for two. And then Doug McDermott, who had 18, knocking down a three in the corner, and Indiana was up by four. Harden stepping up again, though. Houston went on a 14-0 spurt. Harden scoring the last 12 of those 14. He gets a floater to go. Another step back three from well beyond the arc. And then Harden will take it back even further. 44 for Harden. He's now scored 36 or more in five straight games. Houston wins 111-102. And the Rockets have Utah at Memphis on Friday. The big story, Mike Conley returning to Memphis, where he played the first 12 seasons of his career. (laughs) 
fourth pick in 2007 as the franchise leader in games played, points, and assists. But the second pick in 2019, John Morant, he's not too bad either. Look at him go behind his back and go Euro step for two. Then Jay Crowder, who was involved in the Mike Conley trade, coming over to Memphis. Alley ooping to Ja over Jaron Jackson Jr., his own teammate. It's Memphis led by five at halftime. Donovan Mitchell, however, had things working for the Jazz. Big floater. And then another one off the glass this time. He had 29. Utah up by seven. More from Morant as we get to the early fourth quarter action. Look at him hopscotching between defenders and a pull-up on the rim after a two-hand flush. And then Morant going to work on Emmanuel Moutier. Spin move into the paint. Hangs and hits. Tony Allen watching this one. Loving it from his first row seat. As you get a good look at Ja. As this game went back and forth throughout the night. Especially in the final frame. Conley stepping back. Hits the three for the lead. He had 15 points in his return to Memphis, but just 5 of 19 shooting, struggling once again from the field. Nine lead changes, seven ties in the fourth as Morant gives Memphis the lead back with a floater. He had 25. Grizzlies up by one with 10 seconds left. Look at the swat from Rudy Gobert. Utah corrals it and is able to call a timeout. Gobert, great reaction time to give Utah a chance on the other end, but off the inbound, Mitchell gets stripped by Solomon Hill, and Memphis wins in Mike Conley's return. Sounds the birthday boy celebrating his 24th birthday. He and the Minnesota Timberwolves facing Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. And Beal starting off strong here in transition. A big flush as Troy Brown Jr. came up with steal. Then Beal working off the pick. Gets into the paint for two more. Washington scored 76 points in the paint in this one. But the birthday boy coming back. He was without his running mate, Andrew Wiggins, out for personal reasons. Wiggins averaging team best 25.9 points coming in. Towns knocks down a three. He had 36 and 10 in this one. 76-73 was the halftime score. Washington in the lead, and Beal came out hot in the third. He drives for two more. Then a pull-up jumper on a step back. He had 44 points for the second straight game. He scored 30 or more in five of his last seven. But Mo Wagner providing a lift for the Wizards. Knocks down a three. And then Jordan Cray finds Wagner going behind his back. Wagner, a career-high 30 points, a career-high 15 rebounds. The former Michigan Wolverine helping the Wizards to a 137-116 win. Back in uniform for the Philadelphia 76ers as they were in Oklahoma City to take on the Thunder. And Philly coming out strong on the road. Tobias Harris knocking down a three, ending an 0 for 23 streak for him from behind the arc. And then Embiid knocking down a three as well. 12 to 3, Philly on top in the early going. Thunder sticking around though. Darius Baisley for the slam. Danilo Gallinari finishing with the left hand. And then Gallinari behind the back to Shea Gilgis Alexander for the slam. 54 49 Thunder at halftime. Sixers on the comeback trail in the third. Al Horford, if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. He gets the second effort to go down. And then Simmons put back slam. He had 16 points, 11 rebounds, and 8 assists. Gilgis Alexander been fantastic for OKC this season. He had 24 in the ball game. Harris inside, kicking out to Embiid outside for three, tying it at 105. It's tied at 107. Four seconds to go, and Gallinari got a good look. Couldn't get it to drop. And we go to overtime. Embiid in the post, doubled. Somehow gets that one up off the glass and in. 31 and 12 for Embiid. But Chris Paul and the Thunder too much in the extra session. Pull-up jumper for CP3. He had 27 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. And the Thunder, 5-3 and three at home this season. 5-7. and seven. Jason Tatum and the Boston Celtics paying a visit out to D'Angelo Russell and the Golden State Warriors. Boston led it by one 
at the half. We pick up third quarter action. Jalen Brown pump fakes and knocks down the corner three-pointer. Brown had 22 points and eight rebounds. Warriors on defense after a miss. D'Angelo Russell grabs his right hand. Russell left the game and did not return. It's a sprained right thumb. He had 12.7 assists, but nine turnovers in the game. Boston up by seven at that point. Alec Burke steals it and lays it in on the break. And Steph Curry appreciating the pickpocketing. Burke's had 20 points on the game, and Golden State up by two. Later in the fourth, Kemba Walker pull up jumper is money. That makes it 90 to 88. Later, Alec Burks misses a three-pointer. Kai Bowman crashes the board for the putback. Steph now going wild, just loving the show. Golden State up by one in the fourth. Marcus Smart trying to save a loose ball after a missed free throw, but is called out of bounds. After a referee review, the call would be overturned. And so now it's 97-96, jump ball. Golden State up by one on the ensuing jump ball. Jason Tatum makes a great play, anticipating the jump, finishes with the dunk. He had 24 points on the game. Boston by one. Kemba Walker steps back. It's the dagger jumper. He had 20 points, five rebounds, five assists. Boston wins it by five. The final score, 1-0. For the Lakers after missing Wednesday's game, and he's back with his teammate, LeBron James. And we're just going to warn you, What's coming up from LeBron is pretty special. Check it out. An absolute monster jam from the King going up and over Nemanja Belizia. There it is again. And oh, we got the replay technology. We're going to throw one more at you and even one more. LeBron's numbers, 29 points, 11 assists, four rebounds, and one just massacre at the rim. We're in the fourth quarter now. LeBron steps back for the three and loving that. Later, LeBron lobbing it up to Anthony Davis. And what must it be like for him to have a teammate as good as Anthony Davis with 17 points, five rebounds, four blocks, and his return Lakers by five. Bogdan Bogdanovich steps up, though, knocks down a three. Then it's Bogdanovich driving and banking it in high off glass. Beautiful shot there. 18 points on the game. We're tied at 97. Less than 10 seconds to go. LeBron fouled by Harrison Barnes. Lakers in the bonus. There's the foul again. So LeBron goes to the line. He makes the first free throw. It's a clutch. Remember that word, clutch. There's clutch again. LeBron hit both free throws. Now the Kings down to 5.5 seconds left. Harrison Barnes looking for redemption. He trips, goes up, and Anthony Davis is there. That's an easy block for Anthony Davis. Harrison Barnes had absolutely no lift after tripping on his way to the hole. Anthony Davis blocks the shot. The Lakers get the win. Your final score this one, 99.